So to carry out the vendor evaluation in ECTS for HANA, I have prepared one Excel sheet in the following format. First is the vendor number. We will have three vendors as I have told you and I will show you what are the vendor numbers. The second column is purchase order number. The third column will be the purchase order quantity. The, the column number D will be the statistical delivery date in the purchase order. And the next column will be the delivery date in the goods receipt. And the, the last column will be the delivery quantity in the goods receipt. Why these columns I have made? Because these columns I have made because we are going to do the vendor evaluation based on the deviation in the purchase order quantity compared to the goods uh, compared to the delivery quantity in the goods receipt and also we are going to evaluate the vendor on time that is the difference between the statistical delivery date and the delivery date in the goods receipt so now you will see that one purchase order number i have already created and i shall create that the goods receipt of the that purchase order in front of you why i created the purchase order because the little system was a little bit slow so so not to waste the time i created the purchase order two more purchase orders i will create for the two different vendors for the two different vendors and for those two different vendors i will create the purchase order as well as goods receipt in front of you and all the deviations about the date and the quantity i will show you in the screen so so please pay your kind attention so now we shall go ahead and start putting the test data in this format so we will put the vendor number here we we'll put this purchase order number here And we'll do the we'll do the MIGO transaction. So I will do the goods receipt. Do the purchase order number here. See. So here I missed one column. Have to Here I have put the delivery date. So change the delivery date. And also I'll change the quantity. So I note it down. So we see that there is a three date, three days difference between the statistical delivery date. In purchase order, in in purchase order, and in the purchase order, and in the goods receipt. I will not write it because I will write it goods receipt. Goods receipt. Goods receipt. Goods receipt. 
and there is a difference of 20 between the delivery quantity in goods shipped. In goods shipped. So, so based based on difference of this and this and this and this, I will color both the columns between two yellows. The the quantity difference will be calculated, and the scores will be calculated henceforth, and the difference between the it will be the difference between this and this. And this. This. Between the two greens and two yellows. So let us create for the second vendor. So these are these are the post. Okay. Okay. Post. The storage location, no problem. I'll be where dark space once once we want again. Post. It got posted. So we'll do the second. So we'll take the second vendor. Who is the second vendor? We can take a different material also, but if you take a different material, that material should be from the same material category that we, we have used in the purchase purchase category all the materials should be from the same material group that we have used in the purchase category we can put the storage division here and enter okay. B, hundred. You purchase of a number. I can put a different quantity also. That is not a problem. But percentages are easy to calculate on hundred. So I click it, save it. So this is a purchase of a number. So, so, so all the other things are there. So I will do the goods ship now. Which is out of number here. So now what I will do, I will give. 28 as the delivery. But what I will do, but what I will do, I will do the quantity here as 90. And don't forget to make it set and item okay. So 28, 7, 20. I'll put it here. Control B and I'll put it here as ninety.
and this currency is very important because when we will do the evaluations there the mandatory one of the mandatory parameters apart from the date will be the currency on which the scores will be exposed in front of us so you should always check that what what is the currency in which you are running the transactions so this is one of the important points to note so it has got created so we'll note the purchase order number because through these purchase order numbers also you can do the evaluations by the document document numbers just check once I'll put it, I'll put the day a little bit ahead and this one and I put it enter but what I will do I will tell that the quantity that he has given me is very close to 100 close to 100 so so we'll put a purchase order data we to put it set I think okay so more than the dates 37, 2020. Here, 37, 2020. Okay. So, here the quantity is that put it from here. Quantity is 97. So it is ninety-seven. So you see that though the date difference is more here, the quantity adherence is much close to hundred for this. So that is the reason I twisted the scores like this. Save it. Show. Post it. So I am done with my, so let us go and see what we have done. So we have done distribution of the total score. So we have done the supplier evaluation by questionnaire also and and we saw that the scores were 75 for the first supplier, 75 for the second supplier, and 50 for the 50 for the third supplier. Now, what we did for taking out the scores for the so these were the scores based on the soft facts on questionnaires. So now, based on the hard facts, what we did, we we did three purchase orders and three goods receipts. In three purchase orders and the goods receipt, what we did, we did some date variations. We did some date variations. And also we did the quantity variations. And out of these, <clears throat> out of this, the scores for the hard facts is going to come out. Then the hard facts scores will get, will be, and we have also fixed the weighting, weightage of each of the scores. That is the scores based on the quantity scores based on the date and also the scores based on the questionnaires what is the weightage we have given we have given 50 percent 50 percent and 25 percent so so now we are going to see the so now we are going to again log in into fury apps and we are going to see the overall score and the operational score so,